Hey everybody, Captain Murphy here. I wanted to do a bit of a stress test today to kind of put to rest people's issues that they think that the Cry Engine is going to run into a lot of issues once we start rendering in a lot of ships. And one of the things we're trying to make very good use of is the LOD, so that way we don't have to worry about a cannon rendering in a lot of polys when it's looking um, further away. And to give you an example, one of the cannons that we've recently gotten here is the new one that Widori gave me. So at close up, you see it's got high detail. When we back out a little bit, it loses detail. And then further back, it becomes a just plain cylinder. And the carriage also follows suit. So the further away you get, the more it becomes simplistic until eventually it's, um, you know, nothing but a, a square box and a cylinder on top. And we're probably gonna even reduce that once we get further away. So you see everything's kind of choppy right here. What I was trying to do is see how much physics I could get at one time to slow the system down. And I really didn't see an appreciable change until I added the eight cannons to the vessel, put a binnacle on there, and the binnacle is calculating the two compasses for north, so it's doing some sort of a change in there. Uh, each one of these objects is physicalized, so the hull's physicalized, the deck is physicalized, the mass is physicalized. I've got my three physical objects inside the boat calculating for its stability. So everything, you know, I've added a bunch of items and I'm down to 45 frames per second right now. And the reason I'm down to 45 frames per second is because I have 704 Lion Hoys sitting there all physicalized, all running their ballistic or the buoyancies. So this is 704 vessels. And with 704 vessels, you've got something like uh, 5,632 cannons being rendered at one time. There's 704 binnacles running a north calculation at one time. This is a lot of vessels. You're looking at, uh, I think, if you weren't running LOD, uh, and actually the vessels themselves aren't running a uh, major LOD change. I don't think they even stepped down at all. The Just the engine alone is doing an LOD calculation, and we're looking at, what, 17 million polys right now. So everything, you can see that they're all kind of jittery. So it took me 704 boats, all calculating the same buoyancy calculations, all doing the same damage calculations and all that, all moving to the waves before I started to see an appreciable difference. So just for those of you that have been um, kind of warning that CryEngine won't be able to handle having more than you know four or five boats out there all calculating their buoyancy and all that, I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple of boats out here and they all seem to be calculating their buoyancy just fine. Uh, each one has cannons, each one has a binnacle, you know, I'm still getting 20 frames a second, even looking at all of these and they're all doing their motion. You see the masts are all kind of moving around and all that. So just a, kind of a quick stress test to show you, you know, what it looks like. Um, I'll probably do this a little bit later once they're all calculating damage and do the same thing, see how many it takes before damage starts to affect the system. But this is just kind of a quick test and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.